As you can see, I've done an excellent job in balancing this wheel. This wheel comes to a nice, slow, gentle stop. Now, there are some screws in here and here that the magnets here are attracted to and over here. So there is a little bit of competition between the magnetic field here and the screw that goes deep down into here about this far. So I need to put in brass screws. But what I wanted to just demonstrate to you is something I just kind of a little brainstorming here and having some fun. And you know, you always see people holding magnets over the wheel and it always wants to go if you play with the magnet and you do it just right, it wants to go. Okay. See, people can cheat and do things like this. Oops. You get this right, this wheel will go. There we go. Okay. Pulls away. Okay. But that's human power. You know, it's, it's because of my muscle action. But I discovered something very interesting. If you take this magnet here and on its own axis, you rock this back and forth literally like that. Just about that much. That's all it takes. What is it, about a 33 degree angle? And a 30, 33 degree angle again. If you go like this, watch what happens. Now, I'm going to have to push this wheel a little bit to get it going. But once I get it going, I can keep it going by just rocking this back and forth if I get this in time correctly. It takes a little bit of practice, but I can get it. Oops, it goofed up. There we go. This will go and go and go just by rocking the magnet. So my thought is, what if we use the, the motion of the wheel and tap that energy going into the wheel to rock this back and forth just like a pendulum? Just like this, back and forth. It's hard to do this looking through a phone. Anyway, it will go indefinitely as long as I keep twisting that back and forth. Also, I, I also noticed something else here. If I take my stator and I put this here, well, this is not the right stator. Here it is. Okay, if I take the stator and put this up here, and hand hold it to get this going a little bit. You'll notice that if you watch closely, I can't hold this perfectly. The magnets keep pulling it down, and then my spring action in my hand and my muscles pulls this back up each time. So I've noticed that this wheel will go and go and go, but it's reacting from the tension in my hand but my thought was what if we were to put a spring into this see the wheel keeps going and going okay so this if we do this now if i put this down here still it'll just stop yes mr sky i know what time of night it is no i'm dad will go to bed in a minute all right here we go so my thought was if I was to put this on a sponge, and then the compression of the sponge presses it down, then as the magnets go by, it will naturally pull back up, naturally from the sponge. Well, I tried it on some preliminary items here. I don't have a sponge, but I tried it on some bubble wrap, which got some pretty good response. Where's that bubble wrap? Uh. And bubble wrap to come unwrapped. Okay, but what I did, I took some bubble wrap and it's, it's kind of springy. Not much, but it, it does compress some. So I put this on here and I noticed the wheel wanted to go a lot longer than normal. Now it'll 
go for a little while, but it will come to a stop. But if you take this bubble wrap away, you just put the put this here rest on the wood. Watch how fast it comes to a stop. See, it doesn't last very long. Let me give this a good little push. And watch, it'll come to a pretty quick stop. My stator was never intended to operate like this. This is not how my design is supposed to work. Okay, as you can see, it's coming to a stop now. And it's about ready to stop. Give it one more time, that should be it. Eh, one more time. Okay. But with the bubble wrap, or something like a sponge, or maybe just eventually mount some kind of spring system here, using real springs, when you put this up, it has give, it compresses. Let me do one more thickness here. And it acts like my hand recoiling. And so now watch how long this goes. But it's still going to come to a stop. So I'm thinking, but it runs a lot longer. I mean, it runs a while now. So if you take this bubble wrap or a sponge, you have it where this is compressing and releases up and down, up and down. If I do a little bit of help with the hand, it'll run a little bit longer. But this bubble wrap doesn't compress very easy, where some kind of sponge will. So I just wanted to throw that out there. And, you know, just like I said, I'm always trying to just throw these ideas out there in real time as they come to me. Because as, as I march on, I never know who's watching one of these and might say, hey, you know what? Let me give this a try and do something a little different. So I don't know who's watching my videos and never know who I might inspire. So I just thought I wanted to share this with you because go back to the original by holding it by hand. Obviously, my hand's springing up because I can't hold this. This the the, the, um, the attraction between the two magnets is pretty powerful, so my hand naturally comes back up. It just hard as hell to hold steady, and that's how I discovered this because I can't hold it steady. It's just not possible. So the wheel will go indefinitely. It'll just keep going as long as I allow my hand to spring back up which I basically can't help anyway. So, now my other thought is, is to create, let's see here, we're going to use this as a demo, um, to put a rocker arm here. Okay. And what would happen is that we would use the energy from the wheel And put a stator on each end and to rock this back and forth like this to lift the stator up and down to have the spring. And we will use the energy and torque from the center of the wheel here, where there's a lot of leverage, to pump this up and down on each side. Now, I'm not sure how I'll make all that, make that arrangement. I'll probably have to flip this whole thing over and do something from this side where I have some room underneath here and put some kind of triggering mechanisms up underneath here that will push this stick up and down causing it to rock back and forth. I don't know if there's any validity to what I'm sharing here, but it is a possibility. So I'm just sharing possibilities. So I'm not saying any of this when I'm sharing here is going to work. These are just thoughts I'm putting out there. All right, that's it. It's time for me to go to bed. Mr. Sky has been calling me to bed for a while. I've never had a cat in my life. When it comes time to go to bed, he literally calls me into the room to go to bed. He lays down by my chair at my feet and we go to sleep. All right. Hopefully that inspires a few of you all. And by the way, I did this in two pairs of two and two, the space of three, two, space of three, two, three, two. 
because it gives a little burst of energy per each two. But these need to be a lot closer together to be really effective for maximum torque. But as you'll see, if I put it any closer, watch what happens. They just push apart. So they won't stay, so they just, they won't, I have to at least have one space in between here, one of these spoke spaces here, and that's about as close as I can get them. So, anyway, that's it. I've been in the hospital, not my personally, myself, but I have a very dear friend that's very, very ill, and it's caused me to drive lots and lots of miles to this hospital, then I have to drive back, and the time there, and then my other daily things that I need to attend to. So I've not really had any time still, and hopefully they will be out of the hospital by the end of the week, and I can get back to some of my more normal scheduling, and still have time to work on this. Alrighty, that's it. That's all the news that's fit to print here from Lake will be gone. This is James Rowney signing out.